good day everyone welcome to studio 39 design studio this is rich Mas speaking the resident designer in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom window <clears throat> a window maybe which you cannot find normally on uh, the architect's library list so i have a star window here which is just recently created so i'm just going to show you guys exactly what i how i created a window like this <clears throat> using the slab tool so i'm just gonna create a different shape uh to the one that i have right here and what i would do is i would select the slab tool uh i'll make it 50 millimeters thick the rest really doesn't matter so I'm just going to drop it in here and then I'm just going to make sure uh, that I cut it up. So I'm going to say T for trim and I want to find the center point right here. So I want to create something that looks like a D. So you can see it in 3D right here and then I'll change the materials to, to something like that. And then I'll try to cr I'll create another one. So I'm dragging a copy into the same spot, and then I'm going to uh, fill it to the inside by 50. Take the one that's outside, and then I'm gonna subtract. So now there's two of these. It's just that the one that's in the middle, I wanna have it glass, and uh, maybe I'll make it 10 millimeters, <clears throat> and that's what I get. So what you want to do is you want to select the actual window elements which you want to show and then you go to file library and objects select saved you can either create an actual object you can create a door you can create window staircase whatever it may be so here we're trying to create a window and then we're going to just leave this as a new window one <clears throat> and then we're gonna say save um, you can leave this as it is and then just say OK. So that when you select the window tool, you'll see that the window that you just create, created will show up. So I'm just going to do this like this and then I'm just going to recess it in maybe by 140. So that it sits somewhere in the middle like that. When I go to 3D, there's an there's an issue which is something that I actually wanted to show you guys. Uh, so I want this to be like 500 up. So we have these gaps, uh, which uh, definitely will not be working if you want to be uh, creating 3D models or 3D views or even uh, sections and elevations. So a quick fix to do this is to take the outside element like this one so now you have the, the frame on the outside what you want to do is you want to go down to the ID and uh, properties and then you want to type in wall hole and uh, what you can do is now that you have it you can bring it in like that obviously that's a mistake so you can bring it in to the same position so you have two elements uh, laid on top of each other so if I was to delete this there's still an element right there so I just want to bring that back select all the elements that you have here and then do the same thing uh, library objects uh, save selected as window so for this one let's just leave it as, as number two say okay and then select window and then um, once you have selected your window you can just place it on here obviously as I said you can recess it by whatever amount that you want when you open up it when you open it up in 3d you'll see that now it is shown properly whereby 
the openings on the side are no longer showing so that's exactly what i did with this one there are three elements there are two elements laid on top of each other so when i did it one there's another one on top of that so that um it shows up properly as i said you just go down and then you mark this as one hole under the ideal properties that's it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it with that said i would like to encourage you guys to like comment and subscribe to this channel because i do videos like this every week love you guys god bless you goodbye